where do all the teachers go this is a poem by peter dixon peter dixon is a renowned poet he wrote most of the poems for children he was a senior lecturer for two decades or so before he became a full time writer a performer in 1995 one of his famous work that i remember is penguins in the fridge 2001 of macmillan edition if you get time just read it so being an educationist a teacher himself a senior lecturer here he writes about teachers he goes to the mind of a child his imaginative capacities and tries to depict the life of a teacher there are many professions in the society but you know teaching is considered to be a very noble profession children take up the teachers as their role models here very beautifully the pride the poet peter dixon tries to go to the mind of a child and depict the life of a teacher children are curious by nature they are inquisitive they want to know this extraordinary person this teacher whom he takes as a hero or heroine whether they are also living a normal life so here we come to know in this poem the curiosity of a child the inquisitive nature of a child he wants to know what are all the activities that a teacher does whether the teacher is doing the normal activity whether the teacher is also a normal human being so with this background let us start the poem where do all the teachers go when it's 4 o'clock do they live in houses and do they wash their socks the poet as a child wants to know where do the teachers go after 4 o'clock that means the school is over by 4 o'clock and children go to their respective homes so whether the teacher also goes to his home whether he has also got a house to live in or there is some other different place to live for the teachers do they live in normal houses and do they wash their socks here wash their socks means wash their clothes so to generalize it do the teacher also wash their clothes wash their own clothes do they wear pajamas and do they watch tv do the teachers wear informal dress because in the school mostly they are informal dress so do they also wear informal dress like pajamas and do they watch tv do they like entertainment do the teachers also enjoy entertainment because in the school they are serene by nature so do they also enjoy their life do they like entertainment and watch tv and do they pick their noses the same as you and me pick their noses clean their noses so do they also clean their noses so in this stanza we come to know the curiosity of a child whether he wants to know, he wants to know whether the teacher is wearing informal dress whether the teacher is also enjoying entertainment whether is also whether the teacher is also cleaning his nose as any on normal human being do they live with other people have their moms and dads and they were their children and where they were their bad do they live with other people do the children sorry do the teachers socialize do the teacher also like to and interact with other people do they socialize do they live in groups have the moms and dad dads do the teacher also have their parents to instruct them to nag them and where they were children and where they were bad where the teachers also sometimes children and did mischievous activity a bad stands for uh, mischievous activities 
so mostly children you know they do some naughty things they like to have fun so for this they do some mischievous activity so where the teachers also children once and did mischievous activity that is uh, he wants to know so whether the teacher socializes and lives with people interacts with people do they have also parents to instruct them where the children once and did mischievous activity so these are the questions rising in the mind of a child did they ever never spell right did they ever make mistakes so mostly you know <coughs> children uh, see children see that uh, the teachers are being perfectly the right perfect spelling on the board they are not making mistakes so he wants to know a child wants to know whether the teacher never spell right did they ever never spell right they always uh, spell all the words right did they ever make mistakes were they punished in the corner if they picked the chocolate flakes did the teacher also get punishment once <clears throat> when he as a child used to pinch the chocolate flakes <clears throat> sorry if the pinch the pinch here stands for stealing you no know, stole if uh, the teacher as a child stole the chocolate flakes flakes stands for pieces that is chocolate cake fake pieces pieces of chocolate cakes so most of the time children they steal away the cakes or pieces of cake so whether his teacher whether the teachers were also punished if they stole the flakes of chocolate cakes the pieces of chocolate cakes did they ever lose their hymn books <clears throat> children uh, are supposed to forget soon uh, things they kept by them so they lose their rubber they lose their pencil sometimes they lose the religious book also because uh, it's said to be sacred and sacramental and uh, sacramental and you are not supposed to losing your religious book so did they uh, you know sometimes if a child loses gita or something uh, religious book at home the parents called him severely so this child wants to know whether the teacher also lost his hymn books this religious book as a child and whether he was also scolded did they ever leave the greens now once again here green stands for uh, leafy vegetables did they ever leave the greens so mostly you know children like it is junk foods spicy foods so if the parents give them leafy vegetables green vegetables they uh, leave it half eaten so whether the teachers also left their give uh, green leafy vegetables half eaten did they ever leave the greens did they scribble on the desktops did they wear all dirty jeans the child wants to know whether the teacher also as a child used to write on desktops a desktop doesn't mean computer the top of desk ben benches you no know, the students have their uh, hobby or they enjoy writing unwanted things on desktops on the desk and benches did they scribble scribble means meaningless writings you write anything meaningless uh, that is uh, without any meaning you write something on benches and desks that is scribbling on the board sometimes on the wall so children have that hobby of writing on the wall when they start writing when they are uh, as a kid they scribble something on the walls and on the books cover and uh, on the benches and uh, desks and all so the child here is very curious to know whether the teacher also as a child used to scribble 
on the top of his benches and desk. Did they wear all dirty jeans? Fashionable. Were the teachers also fashionable in the young age as a child? All dirty jeans, you no. Know, torn out jeans is a fashion nowadays. So whether the or similarly dirty jeans, you no, know, old and dirty jeans worn by the children. The trendy things. So whether the teacher was also wearing the trendy things like old dirty jeans or uh, torn out jeans when he was a kid. So in this transfer we come to know the child is curious to know whether the teacher lost his hymn books, religious books, whether the teacher uh, left off the leftovers, you know, of uh, green and leafy vegetables because he loved uh, spicy food, whether the teacher as a child scribbled on the top of desk, whether the teacher as a child used to wear dirty jeans. So these are some of the questions rising in the mind of a child. He wants to know all the things, whether these were done by the teacher or not as a child. And the last stanza, the poem turns out a different theme. I follow one back, one back home today. I find out what they do. Then I put in a poem that they can read to you. So one day I will follow the teacher and try to find out what he is doing. Are all the activities coming in my mind done by him or her? I follow one back and find out what they do. Find out their daily routine. Find out what they are doing at home. Whether they are living at home or not. And playing whether they are doing all this normal activity of a human being. And then I will put it in a poem that they can read to you. And then I will write a poem which will be shared by the teachers themselves to you. They will be read to you. That they can read to you. So in future the teachers will be explaining this poem to all of you. So I want to write a poem on the life of a teacher, the daily activity, the routine activity of a teacher. So in this last stanza, we come to know that after all the curiosity and inquisitiveness, he wants to know whether these things are done really by teacher. He wants to know the real fact, the real routine box of the teacher and he would try to write a poem on it so that the teacher himself would read it up to you. So with this we finish the poem. Hope you enjoyed the poem.